Years ago, when I first picked up a camera, I attended a Canon lecture by a documentary filmmaker called Lauren Greenfield. She's got works on like Netflix and stuff. She talked about a concept called soul and bowl. The idea is that as a filmmaker, there are certain works that she does to fill her bowl so she can eat, so she can live, you know, marketing, commercial stuff. And then there's the soul stuff. Those are the stories she wants to tell. Those are the stories she's passionate about. If we focus too much on doing the creative work and our passion, then we might end up hungry. We might end up in not a great financial situation. And on the other side, if we focus too much on the money making stuff, then we might be in a position where we feel empty on the inside, lacking meaning and purpose. This was something that really stuck with me. I was like, what, what, are, what are you saying? We have to pick one of these two? Well, why can't we just have, you know, a soul bowl, a bowl that's soulful? And that was what I pursued. That led me into teaching because I was like, all right, I'm gonna make money. And I'm also gonna influence young minds. But then, you know, teaching, you're in a structure, you don't get that much flexibility and things like that. And although I was filling my bowl, I ended my days lacking energy to do the creative work. So then when I got an opportunity to focus fully on creative work, I took it. But in this case, it was creative work that was focused on cryptocurrencies. And although that was a subject that was interesting to me, it wasn't exactly my highest passion. Through that experience, I got to a point where I felt kind of burned out. It was lacking momentum, but it was also not exactly what I wanted to be doing. It wasn't the messages that I really found most meaningful. And that's when I realized that it might actually be better to do as Lauren Greenfield suggested and fill my bowl and my soul separately. I just want to create stuff that I'm actually passionate about and not have to worry about the finances. So I'm willing to do a job that fills my needs, aligns with my values, that's, that's good work, and then have the time and energy to create what I want to create. My soul and bowl are separate now. One day, I hope that the creative work that I do will be rewarded in a way that I can focus more and more energy towards that. But I found it more fulfilling to let that be its own thing, to be able to create this video and not give a shit. And that's a struggle. That's still a struggle. You know, that's there, there's still those push and pulls, right? You're doing your creative work and then you're like, oh, but if I do a video about this thing, it might lead to that. And it's hard. One strategy that I'm experimenting with now is this idea of one for you, one for them. So on these long form videos, you're going to see one video kind of like this, where I'm talking about a message that I want to share, a topic that I think is important. And then one video that is still intentional but is more practical and maybe uh, already has an audience or something that's proven itself. I think we can have work that we do for money and I think there's work that we can do for purpose. In ideal situations, you might have both. Let me know if you have both. I'd be curious, I'd be curious to hear about that. And I think there are people who find that. Soul and ball struggle. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you go about it. I'd love to hear about it. If you watch until the end, thank you so much. I'll be making a long form video every other week. Some of them will be soul, some of them will be bowl. Uh, we'll also have shorts uh, every other week that there's not a long form. So every week we'll have a video. We're gonna have videos every week, I promise. And we also have the newsletter. So maybe check out the newsletter. The newsletter is essentially my thoughts and ideas that could become videos in advance. And I appreciate your feedback on any of those as well. Take care, much love. Peace. Also, do you guys like my new setup? Is it like audio? I don't know if the, hopefully it's audio sounds good. Got a mic and a mic stand. Background.